Today, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot when the peer networking grouping service isn't running on your Windows 10 or 11 PC. This service is essential for certain network related functions and it can be frustrating when it's not working. Let's dive into some straightforward steps to get this sorted. Step one is to check the peer networking grouping service. First things first, let's make sure the service itself is running. Press Windows key plus R to open the run dialog, type services, Barmacy and hit enter. Scroll down and find peer networking grouping. If it's not running, right click on it and select start. If it's already running, try restarting it by right clicking, selecting stop and then start again. Step two is to reset peer networking group. Sometimes resetting the entire peer networking group can help. Open command prompt as an administrator. You can do this by searching for CMD in the start menu, right clicking on it and choosing the run as administrators. Enter these commands one by one, net sh winsock reset. Net sh int reset. These commands will reset your network settings which might help resolve any conflicts. Step three is to check for corrupted files. Corrupted system filers might be causing the issue. Open the command prompt and type sfc canon press enter. This process will scan and repair any corrupted system files. Step four is to ensure necessary services are running. Other services are crucial for peer networking grouping. Let's make sure they're running. Back in the services window, check these services, peer name resolution protocol, peer networking identity manager, PNRP machine name publication service. Make sure they're set to automatics and are running. If not, start them or set them to start automatically. Step five is to update your network drivers. Outdated network drivers can sometimes cause issues. Go to device manager by right clicking on the start button and selecting it. Expand network adapters, right click on your network device and choose update driver. Select search automatically for updated driver softwares and follow the prompts. Step six is check for Windows updates. Ensure your Windows is up to date as updates can fix bugs related to various services. Go to settings, then update and then uh, security, Windows update and click check for updates. If none of these steps work, it might be a deeper issue with Windows. In that case, consider restoring your system to an earlier point or even reinstalling Windows. Remember, messing with system settings can be risky, so ensure you have backups of your important data. That's all for this guide. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to ask. Don't forget to subscribe for more helpful tech tips. Until next time, happy computing.